Hi guys, Romans here and welcome to another music review. I review every album from a viewpoint of a musician as I'm a singer, songwriter and a bass player for my own group Yakube. And more than three years ago we released our debut album called Persons in Life. What makes it unique is that it's a heavy prog rock without guitars. Instead you have drums, bass, saxophone and keyboards. You can check out all of our music videos on my YouTube channel. And in the description of all these videos you will find all the information about where is the record available. It's available on all digital platforms like Spotify, Tidal, Deezer, iTunes, Amazon, Bandcamp, but also in this digipack version of a CD with a very beautifully illustrated 20 pages long booklet. So in case you want one, all you need to do is contact me via an email, on Facebook or on Instagram, or you can get one of course through Bandcamp as well. And today I'm going to review the new album from Miles Kennedy, The IDs of March. Music review. Music review. Miles Kennedy probably doesn't need an introduction at this point. If you are a rock fan and you haven't been living under rock for the past 15 to 20 years, you must have heard about him either through Alter Bridge or Slash. And three years ago he released his debut solo album Year of the Tiger which showed a different side of his, more acoustic, more bluesy, a lot of different styles and influences. And I also reviewed that album on my channel and uh, that was back in the day when I didn't include audio samples. Anyway, I really dig the record and it ended up as one of my favorite records of the year when I, you know, I had top albums of 2018, a video at the end of the year. So I was really looking forward to his second solo album The Ideas of March which has been around for quite some time. I think the record came out like a month and a half ago. And I've been listening to it ever since it came out and I've been wanting to do this review like, you know, for quite a few weeks. But if you watch my videos, you know that I'm very busy with working on my second album at this point. So, you know, all of my time goes there. But anyway, I've heard his second album 10 times. So let's dive right into the review. The album opens up with the track Get Along and we immediately get this like a country rock vibe which is kind of a something that goes for most of the record and there's the thing at the beginning I would kind of expect some really big hard rock riff and the song to kind of explode into this really heavy rock song. It doesn't because of the obvious stylistic direction that he decided to take with this record. But I like that it kind of defies expectations because, you know, I've been listening to so much rock music in my life. Some of that with country influences that this is kind of what you expect. And it's a nice change of pace that you don't really get it. Uh, generally, this is more like a southern rock song. A Thousand Words is basically a country pop song and it has a great chorus. In stride, that slide guitar at the beginning is super cool and again, I would kind of expect it to explode into that really big hard rock song. It, it doesn't. And uh, it, this is slightly more of a bluesy rock song and, and a really great one at that. The Ideas of March, the title track is this over seven minutes long, kind of an opus on the album in a way, but the beginning part reminds me a lot of the track Can Let You Go from The Poodles, which is one of my favorite tracks from them.
This song has kind of a Mexican slash Latino vibe, which I really like. Wake Me Up When It's Over is an up-tempo acoustic blues rocker. You can wake me when it's when the ends. Love Rain Down is a slower acoustic tune, it has a beautiful melody, beautiful atmosphere and it's very emotional. Let you go. Tell it like it is resembles the good old 50s. Moonshot. This is almost like Alter Bridge going old school, which makes for a very interesting mix, I think. Wanderlust Begins is this perfect song to be a soundtrack for summer. I really love it. My favorite track on the album and it kind of brings Watch Over You to mind in terms of the delivery and emotional depth. So baby, just hold tight, Wanderlust Begins Shifting Through the Fire is an up-tempo song that Two could be a soundtrack for summer, and this kind of goes for the whole record. The final track is Worried Mind, and I think that this track would have been a lot darker if it wasn't for all that country stuff and country figures that he kind of keeps playing there. And I want to point out the guitar solo in this track where he really plays with the dynamics and I just love his playing and he actually handles all the string instruments on the album with the exception of a bass. And this is something that took me quite a few years to find out that he's not only a freaking amazing singer, but he's equally talented as a guitar player. His, his skills are absolutely unbelievable. And there were many times when he proved that in Alter Bridge, but you know, unless you see them live, you can't really tell that really amazing musician just there are no words to describe how talented these guys to sum up i really enjoy this album i mean if i didn't i wouldn't be making a review for it so yeah there's not much to criticize it's a great record it can become a really great soundtrack for summer and i do have to say that probably year of the tiger is a little higher for me but i mean miles kennedy whatever he makes there's just there's just no drop in quality i mean the guy delivers every time did you like this review if you did and if you like the videos i'm making consider supporting me by purchasing my debut album persons in life because I include audio samples in my videos and thus making them the most informative and entertaining to watch, I usually run a risk of getting a copyright claim, meaning that I won't be able to monetize my videos and whatever money is earned by the video goes to the author of original samples. I have no problems with that, as these artists deserve all the money they can earn and they can get, but these videos are extremely time-consuming, so the only and the best way how to support me uh, is by purchasing my debut album. And if you like Miles Kennedy, I think you may like this record a lot. Have you heard this album already? If you have, you can let me know in the comment section below whether you agreed or disagreed with me. If you are a Miles Kennedy fan, you can let me know how well do you think it compares to his first solo album, maybe even to Alter Bridge stuff. 
Uh, you can follow me on Facebook or on Instagram. You can find links to both in the description of this video below. Also, if you like this video, don't forget to like, to share, to subscribe. You can check out my own original music, my live performances, my worst to best series, and quite a lot of other reviews as well. Thanks a lot for watching.